What's up everyone? Welcome back. Today we have an ab and butt workout. My two favorite exercises. Actually, that's not true because I don't really like working my abs. But I try to make it more fun so that I enjoy it more. So let's just smash these muscles and let's just get started. Today we have three sets of different exercises. The first set targets both the butt and the abs. The second set solely on the butt and the last set solely on the abs. The first exercise is bridge. This is great to tone your butt and also the back of your legs. Make sure you squeeze your butt at the top position. Squeeze that peach. It's gonna look a little dimply. That's just how it is. Just squeeze that butt. Straight away, we are doing narrow glute bridge. Bring your legs close together. This focuses on the inner thighs as well. I can feel it a lot more on my inner thighs and also the back of the legs. Now we have seated crunch. Time to work those abs. Make sure you tense your abs while you're doing the exercise. Basically pulling your abs in and squeeze your abs. Make sure you're breathing while you're doing the exercise too. Now reverse crunch. This is great for working your low abs. Put both of your arms next to you and bring your hips off the ground using your ab muscles. Then we have straight leg circles. This one is pretty self-explanatory. Make sure you keep your core tight. And now let's do the same on the other side. Yay, spider plank! This is probably one of my most dreaded exercises out there. But it's here, making a comeback. So make sure you bring your knee as close to your elbow as possible for this one. Next is mountain climber. Make sure you squeeze your abs and bring your knees as in as possible as well. Now we have leg raise. This is so great for your hamstring and booty. I feel it more on my booty for this one. Make sure you squeeze your butt while you're doing the exercise. Mm -hmm. 
Now do the same on the other side. We have frog kicks next. So for this one, keep your feet together while you bring your legs up. This is super great for the booty and make sure you squeeze those butts. Now we have Superman. This is great for lower back. It is so important to work the lower back for ab exercises. Now let's bring our leg to the other side while lying down. This is so great for working the side of the butt and the side of the legs too. Now on to the other side. Now we have up and down plank. This is great for your abs and also your arms. But make sure you squeeze your abs. Now we have mountain climber again to finish off this set. So this is the last exercise for this set, so try to push yourself and do it in good form. Now we have a 50 seconds break, rest up and drink some water and the next round is going to be more butt focus, like really focusing on that butt. Um, so yeah, you can do some stretches too, stretch out your butt, your arms, you know, just relax. <laughs> The first exercise is frog pump. Lie on the mat with your feet together and knees pointing outward. Then drive up your hips and make sure you squeeze your butt. So if you have any trouble activating your glute muscles, this exercise is absolutely great for that. The next exercise is single leg glute bridge. Again, I love this. 
This is slightly harder but it works the butt and the back of the legs as well. Make sure you squeeze your butt at the top position. Now on to the other side. Next, we have Fire Hydrant. This is so good for the side of the butt and legs. This is always my focus when it comes to toning my butt and legs. Now on to the other side. Now we have rainbow. If you want that round and toned perky butt look, this exercise is really great for that because it works all the muscle groups. Now onto the other side. Now we have frog kick again to get that booty pump. Now keep your legs up and hold that position on top and squeeze that booty. This is our last exercise for the butt routine. Now we have a 30 seconds break, you can stretch out those butt muscles, then the next set consists of ab focus exercises. The first exercise is flutter kicks. I like to rest on the elbow like so because I feel it more on my abs and also it's better for my lower back. You can lie down completely flat on the ground if you prefer that. Straight away, we have scissor kicks. 
Cross your legs while keeping your core tight. You can do this, guys. Next, we have reverse crunch. This is a slightly different variation. I find this works really well for the whole abs, especially the lower abs. Now we have bicycle crunch, burn those ab muscles. My abs were definitely burning at this point. Make sure you do it in good form and don't slack. We have heel touches next. Touch your foot with your hand and squeeze those abs. I know I keep saying squeeze those abs or butt, but it is really important guys. This is how we get abs and a toned butt. Next, we have mountain climbers. Now we have plank with hip twist. Bring your hips to one side as low as you can, then do the same on the other side. I love this for obliques. Now we have up and down plank, our second last exercise, you can do this guys. Now, finally, we have plank. This is probably the hardest exercise for this routine for me because of the fact that I have to keep still. Remember to pull in your abs and squeeze and don't let your butt poke up or drip down. We are almost done, guys. That's it for today's workout. You can do one more round of this if you are more advanced. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on the notification, and also leave me a comment down below on what you want to see next. Thanks for working out with me, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!